okay everybody welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in it is 9 11 p.m which is like one of my favorite times everybody it's a pattern of providence for me so i have to go into it and explain it a little bit more as time goes but anyways so welcome to my channel please roll that intro welcome to my channel everybody i talk about faith family and business okay so i'm in a downstairs kitchen right now in front of my computer is 9 11 p.m at night and i am still working but i am working on my listing i got it in all three of the systems right now i am so excited <sighs> listen in this market let me list your house please i can get it sold okay that's my number one like shameless plug let me list your house if you're here in georgia if you've got property in georgia just let me add it like scrappy dappy do let me add it because listen i put this house on the market like just a few days ago and i've gotten so many strong offers and then not too long ago i got a possible cash offer okay so I don't even know what to say right now but everybody if you've been thinking about this industry doing real estate go ahead stop waiting like what are you waiting on if you are thinking about selling your house go ahead you are sitting on money right now because what you don't want to do is wait until the market flips because just like in investing, there are trend lines, support and resistance. Okay, for all of my Forex uh, traders, you know support and resistance and testing. Listen, it's crazy. But I just want you all to know that the market has trends. You don't wanna wait until the market flips and you're looking crazy. Like, oh my God, I wish that I would have sold my house. Now there's a huge demand and nobody wants my house. Or they're not willing to add all these extra things that they're doing right now to buying the house. So yeah, my lipstick is everywhere. And um, I know I look a hot mess right now. I am not powdered up. I am not at my best self because your girl is at work. So what I love most about this industry, you all, I cannot lie. I love being able to pack my children up because I have an older teen um, who is actually learning to drive right now. And let me just be real honest with you all. It, can I be real honest? Like, for real, like we're family. So during the time when I had the lift vehicle, you know, of course, you're not going to let your children or anybody else drive that vehicle because you're liable for it. And um, it was a company vehicle. So during that time, my oldest daughter, all I could think about was her. All I could think about was this girl is getting older. She wants to learn how to drive. And I got a car that I can't even allow her to drive in. And I can just remember how depressed I was feeling. And um, the reason why I'm telling you all this is because God can do anything but fail. You hear me? So whenever you're going through something, don't be ashamed. Use your time and your testimony to really, really help somebody else because there's somebody else that is going through something that's far worse than what you're going through. And it'll make your situation look like a walk in the complete park. Okay? So... I, I was really, really embarrassed for a while because I was like, oh my God, I got this car and my baby wants to learn how to drive and I can't even allow her to use it because it had a camera, it, it had all this other stuff. And then plus on top of it, I'm a really, I try my best to be an honest person, um, integral person. So of course I wasn't going to allow her to just drive these people's vehicle. And um, I was just like, God, you know, and she kept expressing to me mom i want to learn how to drive i want to learn how to drive and you know during that time i used massive faith like i was praying 
I'm not saying that you have to be perfect, everybody. That's why I think we get it mixed mixed up is because we think that we got to be perfect for God to bless us. No, he knows our heart. He knows if we really, really fake it and capping, just like my son can say, cap. He knows when we're capping and we really don't have a heart for him. And he knows that when we're really genuine, deep down, good people, and we love him and he knows what we want. You just express it to him. The word of God says, delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. And so my biggest, one of my biggest desires was something that was probably not even big to you all was I needed a car that I can actually drive and that <clears throat> my daughter could actually drive and not have to be on miles and personal miles and business miles. See, business miles, it was free, but personal miles, oh my God, I was going over because I needed the vehicle. And this is just my mo moment of transparency, everybody. So now I'm grateful that I have a car that my daughter loves. I plan on giving this vehicle to her because I plan on going higher and higher. So with that being said, it's nothing for me to still be at work um, because I'm going to work my behind off because I've got something to attain. I don't think that God would have uh, would have allowed me to get in this industry just to really be a lazy butt, like get your behind out there and work. If he has allowed you to overcome some things and get out of the muck and the miry clay, like stop playing. Stop, don't stop playing with me okay stop playing with god stop playing with the opportunity if you got an opportunity and you can work from anywhere like listen i got 159 georgia counties that i can work in like stop playing with me 159 georgia counties stop playing with me out of 159 Georgia counties, don't you think I could sell a few houses? Listen, if you want to get in this industry, listen, there's so many. It, it's so, you're not going to cut into my blessing if you decide to do it. It's not because there's so many blessings that's out here, everybody. Go and get your real estate license. And I can put something down in the description bar where I can give you a discount for um, like a, a the prep school that I went to, I paid for a regular real estate school because you got to take that um, your regular hours. Like for Georgia, it had to be 75 hours for the pre for the uh, pre licensing. Right. And then um, now I'm working on um, the post licensing. I got to get my um, my classes done. Like you want to stay up on what you're supposed to. And I'll just maybe pay like $125 to do the rest of my 25 hours of continuing ed. But listen, the prep course that I took, I took my my class and then I took my test for my class to pass that 75 hour course for school once, praise God. And then I took my state test once. OK, you hear me? Like, don't play with the opportunity. Do not play with the opportunity. Get in here, study, and get out. Like, don't play around. I know people and no slight, no shade to anybody. I know uh, quite a few people that have gotten in and they have not passed the state, state test three, four, five times. That stuff cost. It costs money. Don't play with the opportunity. Don't do it. Get in there, get your prep, do your prep, pay for prep, and take your test. And go in there, pray, go in there with the mindset that you are going to pass, point blank, period. I got something to prove, not to anybody outside of myself, okay? I got something to prove to me, okay? To me. Like, I got to do something for my kids. It's not about trying to show off to somebody else. Listen, I want higher and greater and better. Higher, greater, better. More refined. New. Top of the line. Top tier. Top shelf. For me. Me and my kids. You all can do the same thing. So tonight, that's all that I got to tell you all. Like, I don't, I don't have anything else to tell you. Don't play with your opportunity. 
if you want to do something, go to class. We got, you live in an age where everything is online. Everything is online now. It's online. And even if it's not online, go to the class. If you go, you can make a way or you can make an excuse. I lug my kids around with me. My babysitter, she rides with us. And I go show property. They sit in the car so I can have somebody to go with me in places that I don't I don't know. Like they don't go in the house, obviously, because it still is work. But my babies can go. Go change your life. This is the prime opportunity. 51% of people have gone to change their position in this pandemic. It is a surplus of people that said, listen, this pandemic has taught them something. Like, listen, you there people are paying premium dollars for you to come to work because they realize the game done changed. Okay, the game done changed. Flexibility is what the people want. They want to be paid the right price and not having to slave for a couple of dollars and some peanuts because you cannot live off of that. It is unsustainable. So with this opportunity, while you're in the post-COVID life, maybe Delta variant life, listen, go get your blessing. I love you all, everybody. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. My name is LaToya, and tonight was just a simple, encouraging word. Go get your blessing. I love you, everybody. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye.